Closing remarkably, Austin Sindrick down to three car lengths, but if you're Justin Allgaier in third, you want to stay aggressive. We've seen how difficult it is to pass. This is 22 pushes the issue. There could be contact. Less than three laps to go. Here they come up into the S's. A.J. Allmendinger in the 10-year leader. Austin Sindrick is tracking him down. The separation is down to five car lengths. It's down to four car lengths. Less than three to go, and this is the battle for the lead at the Glen. Trying to make ground in this breaking zone. Sindrick into the interloop. You see him charge and close that gap on your leader. Running really well here through the interloop. He's almost to the bumper of Allmendinger. Allmendinger stretches it just a little bit in throttle here. letting him know. Congratulations. First career win for Austin Cindric. And what a battle it was. It, it, Steve, everyone around the, the course actually brought this up, but turn about fair play. If oh. you're going to use the bumper on me, I'm going to use the bumper on you. And that's how you do it. That's how you push somebody up out of the way without wrecking them. That's great hard racing. You see all the competitors congratulating Austin Citrus. They know how much it means to get your first win. And you mentioned the call by Brian Wilson. I didn't like it. I thought, keep the track position. He did it. He knew he needed tires. He said they talked about it beforehand. And those tires are what made these moves possible for Austin Citrus. You mentioned the bumper. Well, here was the first shot.
spot right here. He moves the tent up into the carousel. Yeah, he moved him out of the way. Perfectly fine, good racing right there. Put the chrome horn to him, up out of the groove. And then down here, A.J. Allmendinger putting the bumper to Cedric. And Cedric way off course, and I think now Allmendinger, it's his race to win. But Allmendinger drives into turn seven and misses the corner. Right here he turns and doesn't get, see right there? He had major issues, and that allowed Cedric to get the run back on him. What is it about the Glen that gives us these finishes time after time? And you see the dejection. There is A.J. Allmendinger. Was close. What a great battle. And, and remember, A.J. Allmendinger, yes, he's a part-time racer. Doesn't race a lot of races, but he does a great job broadcasting as well. He's a part of the NBC broadcast team for Motorsports. What a performance he put on today making this 20-year-old earn his first win in the Xfinity Series. All right, come on, Austin. You're going to have to give us a better burnout than that one at the start-finish line. Let's see some celebration. There you go. Cedric gets out of the car here at the start finish line. He is not your typical driver build. Austin Cedric is tall. Yeah, he's about six feet three inches tall. Way taller than virtually every other driver he's racing against. And now he's going to celebrate with that team. Xfinity Series. Man, a long time coming. You did it! Congratulations! Yes! This is awesome! Oh, man. I got so many people to thank to be here. I, first of all, I shouldn't pick up 200 pound plus men. That's heavy. But, man, you fans are awesome. Thank you for coming to Watkins Glen every single year. This is why you guys come. Thank you to my line. They're just down the road in New York City. Oh, man. Thank you, Discount Tire, Menards, Team Penske, Roger Penske, everything those guys have done for me. Snap-on, Pro-Tech, LTR Printing, for performance. Ross Chase, the best motors in the business. I'm so pumped. Man, after that last side battle, these fans are on their feet. Tell us, what do you want to say to these fans right now? I think you're welcome. <laughs> that was fun, man. That's why you guys show up. I mean, AJ was pumped after the race. He gave me the hang loose. He's such a cool guy. So it was cool to be able to race him for my first win. And, uh, man... That feels good. Congratulations, you did it, buddy. Thanks, Rollage. Kelly? 